There's many different ways to design for additive manufacturing, or maybe more commonly known as 3D printing. One of those ways is generative design. It really takes inputs of design constraints, load requirements, keep out zones where material can't be, and it generates thousands of different design solutions working with the software that maybe a single designer engineer couldn't come up with on their own. It's an expansion of our current capabilities, really focused on how are we going into the future with light weighting, with new manufacturing process, thinking about designing and making our vehicles in a different way. Autodesk is one of our valued partners that we see as we go forward in the additive manufacturing space, really helping us from a thinking differently, the innovation culture that they can bring to us, as well as some of the tools that they have for design for additive manufacturing. One of the first parts we worked on in collaboration with Autodesk was a common rear seat bracket. This bracket consists of eight pieces, welded together, bolted together. We worked very hard to consolidate that part into one piece, something that can only be produced using additive manufacturing. We ended up saving 40% mass, and again, got that part consolidation from eight parts down to one. The benefit is really to be able to uh, explore the design space in a much more efficient way than you can using a traditional approach. We get multiple designs within a short amount of time, which is a feasible solution to our problem, which would could probably take a normal engineer weeks to figure that out. GM has traditionally always been a leading innovator in the industry and it's great to see them adopting these new technologies and seeing how it applies to their business and to their customers. We feel that there's huge benefits today, but then those benefits can really ramp up as we move into the future. Really the opportunities for GM around added manufacturing are endless.